speaking of robots. So everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of down. And then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really going to have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. Um, so you could have your own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. And I think at scale, the, the, you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction, long term. Now, you know, it'll take us a minute to get to the long term, but, um, but fundamentally at scale, uh, the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks. Um, Whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. And I, I, th I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Yeah. Because I think everyone of the 8 billion people of Earth, I think everyone's going to want their Optimus buddy.